A quick disclaimer, the product in this video has been given to us by Gamegenic, a big thank you to them, however, that does not impact on this review at all, they get no input, they don't get to see it beforehand, they are seeing it now just like you are, so a big thank you to them, it helps us to do products a little bit more regularly and a little bit more interesting, and hopefully you'll all appreciate it, so big thank you and we'll see you in the review now. Hello and welcome to another double sleeve review, where today we're in the warehouse reviewing a Gamegenic Card Lair 400 Plus convertible. Let's see how it does in our review. When reviewing card storage boxes, we go through five categories. Quality, storage, security, accessories, and price. Well, first we look at quality and the similarities in GameGenix deck boxes continues with this one, with this lovely Nexo fiber outer and a wonderful microfiber inner, which helps to both provide this mottled denim-like effect and keep the cards happy inside. When GameGenix say convertible, what they mean is a removable and reattachable lid, uh, which is great because it keeps it out of the way and rather than having to find somewhere else to put it or keep your deck box closed, I'm not sure I'd call it convertible though somehow, um, just like the Dungeon 1100 Plus, the lid is fully stitched, which is a really nice touch. The, in, the base is not, um, however, the glue that sticks it all together is very strong. I have actually attacked one of these boxes with a knife trying to get in between, and it is very difficult. I don't think you'll find them coming apart anytime soon. So overall, this line of products continues to look pretty premium. I would say it would definitely mix it well with some much more expensive models. So yeah, a great job for quality. When it comes to storage, this box does fit everything you would expect it to inside. However, um, there are no compartments for your cards. If you want to store 400 loose double sleeved cards, then fantastic. If you wanted to store four 100 card decks in here, great, but they won't be separated and they won't be in any kind of additional protection. Um, not too much of a problem as this box is the right kind of size. However, just something to be aware of. You certainly can't be fitting deck boxes inside here. It is cards and cards only. So next up, we test how effective the box is at protecting the cards inside. When the lid is off, the box does have a little bit of give to it, which is a little bit frustrating, but something to be expected by a box that is almost entirely cardboard with the extra wrapping around it. Um, nothing that's too bad, especially when you put the lid on, it actually is pretty tough. The only area of weakness being where the cutout is for the cards to go uh, inside um, and be able to grab them it does create a little bit of weakness to the lid. Nothing to really worry about, just something to be aware of. Uh, overall though, very strong and a proper good bit of security there. When it comes to accessories, this is both the strongest and weakest part of this box. You have the fantastic end compartment with the tray, which has enough space for dice and cards and other such things. There's this amazing little flap uh, which is also magnetic and it has inside these other little flapped drawers which come all the way out which you can fit your cards in a little um, sideboard or uh, some tokens or something um, which are lovely and they work very well uh, just a fantastic little thing all seals up very neatly whoever did this it, if anything over engineered it's a wonderful little piece if anything it really endears me to this box and then we have these really peculiar as you can see in this video um, they're, some, they're meant to be as the box says for a notepad and an oversized commander card um, if I remember rightly oversized commander cards uh, are no longer printed and they really serve no purpose at all why you'd want to carry it around with you with your cards and dice and things I don't know and um, we try and put a notepad in we try and put an oversized uh, Pokemon card in nothing fits um, so really unless you can find a specific use for this it's maybe coins possibly a chocolate bar i don't know but um all right if these weren't here and if they could use this space better um it would be amazing they don't even fit cards in them properly which is a shame so at top marks for this side um oh, i don't know what they were thinking with this so when it comes to price uh a difficult one to price. It's not a deck box per se as it holds so many more cards and other bits and bobs. However, the average price we found this for was 38.95. That's pounds. Um, 
that's quite a lot. You could buy four pretty good deck boxes for that, um, or even a nice rucksack, but uh, it's not overly expensive. I would say it's a reasonable price for something of this build quality, and like I said, it feels pretty premium. So, um, as with always, uh, do your own research on price and see what you can get it for locally in your LGS, online, uh, maybe you can't even get a hold of it, in which case it'd be a lot more expensive to get it to you. But overall, um, yeah, not too bad price-wise. And there you go, that's our review of the GameGenic Card Lair 400 Plus Convertible. Uh, did we do a good job? Do you have one of these? Do you want one of these? Is there something similar to this uh, that you think is better? Let us know and we may even review it. Uh, a big thank you to GameGenic for giving us this to review. Uh, really appreciate it and um, stay tuned for more reviews in the future. Let us know in the comments below if there's something you want us to review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help us. And why not subscribe? A lot of you guys don't subscribe to the channel um, and it really helps us out to know that our content is hitting the mark. So a big thank you and we'll see you guys in the next one.